my god, look at that cute ass shirt! This shirt is actually inspired for today's video. I have no idea what I'm doing. Honestly, I'm just going with the flow. I came up with this idea. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I really hope it does. I am literally obsessed with the beautiful mesh gloves that have like some kind of like abstract print to them. And we are going to attempt to do that today. And well, some other stuff. I just came back from Walmart and I bought some cute stuff and that's what we're gonna be DIYing. But anyways, I'm not gonna do this intro any longer. No one cares about intros. Just, just, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like this video, and turn on the bell notifications if you don't want to miss any of my fabulous videos. Of course, if you want to. I suggest you do though, because I am pretty fucking passionate of all of my content, and you're gonna love my content. So, subscribe. Also, if you stay for the end of this video, I am going to show you how to style every single item that I make in this video, okay? So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. So for the first idea, I decided that I am going to watercolor paint with tissue paper some tights. We've all been seeing these very cool abstract tights, but honestly, I have not been able to find any. So I decided that I'm just gonna do a cheap Walmart edition. So for this first project, you are obviously gonna use some tights. This little package came with these pink ones and some white ones. The white ones are not here and that's because I already washed them and they are soaking up in water and vinegar. The vinegar is going to create some sort of like primer. We are going to let that sit for 30 minutes and while we're waiting, I am going to cut some tissue paper into small little squares. I already have a very similar video like this on my channel, but instead of the tights, I'm actually watercoloring this very beautiful silky dress. So if you want more detailed instructions, you can go check that video. I suggest that when you're picking your tissue paper, you pick really bright colors because they tend to wash off a little. So just a pro tip. <laughs> Okay, so I have my bucket of water here and my tights have been soaking for about half an hour now. side I'm just going to spray with water that will let the color penetrate with the fabric a little bit more so this has been drying for a while now what I'm gonna do next is flip it over and do it all over again Okay, so the papers are already dried and this is how it looks so far. What we have to do next is rinse it and see what the end result is. Wait, I was thinking that if I rinse it, the colors are gonna come off because it's still wet. So I'm just gonna let it dry completely and then rinse it. But so far, it looks very pretty. This next project it's like I couldn't even sleep last night because I was like trying to process how the I was gonna do it so I'm just so excited to put my hands onto this project and see what the results are we are going to attempt to make the mesh marbleized gloves today and we are going to do it with a technique called hydro dip the only items that this project requires are three things water spray paint and whatever you want to dip into the hydro dip sheet so how the fuck are we gonna do that right ah, i don't even know <laughs> i mean this is the first time i'm gonna do it we are going to use these beautiful 98 cent pod um, latex nylon um, socks that I found 
at Walmart. These babies were only 98 cents and they come in two pairs. And these are so perfect because when I put them on, they fit really tight on the arm and they're not gonna be rolling down, so they're perfect. And as for the fingers right here, what I'm gonna do is cut this so the fingers are exposed and then I'm gonna cut like a little circle so the thumb can come out. And that's gonna be our glove. Ah! Oh, and I also recommend some gloves so you don't like fuck your hand up. And also an item to like put your glove in some sort of way. You know what I mean, right? So this is not long enough, so I think I'm just gonna have to put like another cup inside so it can like create that like shape. guys have no idea how happy I am oh my god these look so beautiful I'm not even sure when was the last time I saw you but it has been a while I have just been having too much fun with that like hydro dip I am so excited to show you guys the final result Meanwhile, I have been very busy. I have been very active I even went to Walmart again to buy more spray I got different colors and I also went to go buy more of these babies right here I might have taken all of them but I didn't say that. <laughs> Good morning. My gloves are dried up and they're ready to be cut. I was able to pull off six pairs of gloves because two pairs did not make it. They were like my guinea pigs, so they're dead. I already made them a little funeral. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your life. Short life. Okay, anyways, I am going to show you a really quick overview. Look how beautiful this looks. This has to be one of my favorite ones because I love this color combo. It was literally the only pair that didn't peel off look how beautiful those swirls are this pair is definitely my favorite one plus the colors are so beautiful next i have these very cool kim possible type of vibe then i have this one 
It's a little bit more blank, but that's because the orange spray just didn't want to stick to the fabric. Anyway, you see why it was meant to be orange. <laughs> These are also so beautiful. Oh my god, they look like the ocean. And these ones look darker than these ones because the sock itself was black. So I gave it this really beautiful look to it. I'm obsessed. And lastly but not least, these came out just like the London Jaded jaded london i'm gonna insert the picture here these are like my ultimate ultimate favorite the colors are perfect they stuck really well onto the fabric and i'm just literally so happy i was able to pull this one off because these right here were the inspiration to create these mesh gloves in the beginning my god look at that so moment of truth i am now going to cut the edges and see if it's gonna even look like a glove i am a little nervous honestly and i'm gonna try it with these ones first because they're honestly my least favorite so if i fuck it up it's fine oh and by the way you guys wear gloves i've been literally washing them non-stop and they're still fucked up So this is how it looks very pretty the colors are so beautiful so i want the thumb to come out right there and just cut a little tiny hole and there you have it oh my god ah! okay so now let's try to make these a little bit more groovier so we are going to place our glove in this hydro flask Hello, so I brought you closer to me. This is what I'm doing. I'm putting holes, as you can see. It's super easy. I mean, you just grab the fabric and snip, and you can always just make it bigger if you want. Honestly, there's no specific like order how I'm doing this. I'm just going with it. I want to put this very pretty baby pink ribbon. I mean, if we don't like it, we can just take the ribbon out, so there's no problem with that. Okay, the way I'm going to do it is by getting these two holes and putting the ribbon through it and just putting a little knot like that. Ew. I think the ribbon is too stiff and that's why it's not working. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Let's try it. Oh my god. Okay, let's trust the process. That looks so ugly. I'm not gonna talk yet. Not until I try this, so shall we? <gasps> oh my god! It doesn't look that bad. Let me show you. I think I love it. Look how cool this looks. This is honestly so pretty. I love it. I didn't think I was gonna like it because when I was doing it, I was like, um. And I also like it in this glove because it's very simple. It doesn't have too much color. So the ribbon just gives it a little bit more of a...
how the tights ended up looking. I am so satisfied with the colors. I'm a little confused because I added some green and blue, but none of those colors are here. But I'm I'm honestly fine with that. I love it so much. And I like it that it looks a little patchy because it looks very abstract. And that is exactly what I wanted to, to go for. I also want to show you some other pieces that I ended up making, but I forgot to record. I am so sorry about that. But first, <gasps> look at this beautiful abstract watercolor bikini i did the set it looks so beautiful this bikini was just white and that's why the colors were able to penetrate very well i am so obsessed with this bikini and the fact that i have the same gloves with it beautiful and that's the fun part about this project that you can do it with any any item of your closet and just watch me watch me do another video doing jeans shoes you name it. And I especially love this DIY because if I get bored of an item from my closet, I can always spice it up and put some color on it. Ah, I love this. And then I also did this very beautiful mesh shirt. <gasps> Look at those colors. Oh my God. I am obsessed with this one. It looks very fiery pink. I love it. I love it so much. It does have a little bit of peel off, but it's not too bad. And finally, but definitely not least, this has to be my favorite item. I got just look at those beautiful abstract colors. I'm a little mad that when I show this color on the camera, it turns a little yellowish. I don't know how to fix that. I'm sorry. And that is the end of this video. I hope you loved and enjoyed it. I hope you feel inspired and recreate this awesome DIY. I am so proud of myself that I was able to pull it off because those gloves are kind of expensive and honestly, that is not my priority right now, but I do want to stay trendy and cool with my outfits. So that's why I had to think outside of the box and recreate it myself. I'm even happier because I know this is a unique piece and I know I'm gonna be the only one having this beautiful set as well as the other ones. If you decide to recreate these gloves, don't forget to tag me. You can actually follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I decided to reopen my social media and let's see how that goes. <laughs> anyways, if you decide to follow me on Instagram, I do have some instructions in the description down down below. I promise you, you'll understand once you read it. It's because I have a good reason to that. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and especially like this video so it can reach more people. I would really, really appreciate that. I really want to get to 1k. So please subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any of my fabulous videos. I am sending you millions of virtual kisses. And I'll see you on my next video. So one thing that I learned from this project is that you want to do satin because when it's high gloss, it's going to start like separating. It's going to start like peeling off from the fabric. So avoid gloss, especially high gloss. And by all means, do not buy this brand. It sucks.